welcome back to my channel i hope you're all splendid today i'm filming a boyfriend rates my outfit so i've chosen five outfits all from my wardrobe right here but i've tried to pick stuff some of the stuff is brand new with tags that i've never worn before and i've picked stuff that he's never seen me wear before obviously my boyfriend isn't here so he's going to be rating my outfits virtually and i'm just going to send him pictures of the outfits see how he reacts to them he's going to rate them out of 10 we actually filmed a video similar to this but in person with my 21st dresses and i had so much fun filming that and i've been wanting to do a boyfriend rates my outfits for ages but obviously i can't do it so i thought why not do it virtually i'll leave that video in the description box if you do want to check that out do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also follow my instagram i post fashion content on there so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy okay so the first one is actually a dress that i got for my birthday party that i didn't end up wearing in the end it was a second option i love this if i didn't find the i will actually insert a picture of why i wore my 20 on the 21st just in case any of you are interested such a nice dress so similar though like this was the kind of style that i decided i was going for it literally pretty much is exactly the same dress i literally have not worn this it still has the label on but yeah i love this it's got like some reach in here and like a frilly bit here okay so i've just sent jed the picture over i'll insert the picture here that i sent to him so he's responded with oh a similar vibe to what you were on your 21st i said it was my second option he said lol was it forgot of course you know what boys are like they i knew he wouldn't remember me like, I literally tried this on in front of him and I knew he wouldn't remember, so that's why I chose it. Although, I probably preferred the one you were on your 21st. This is a strong second. And he gave it an 8 out of 10. Um, honestly, I love this. So, yeah, we're off to a strong start with this one. Um, we'll have to see if any of the other outfits can be the 8 out of 10. This is the second outfit that I'm going to get him to judge. The cardigan is my mum's um, vintage, I think. And then this skirt, it always, like, rolls up at the front there, but it's so old. I think I've had this properly from, like age 16 from motel rocks and then i've just paired it with these chunky cool sandals i personally love this and i've always always loved this skirt it does need an iron this is one of the more casual ones let's see what he has to say about this one. i was actually hesitating between having an open with the bralette but i went for this um in the end the bralette was kind of a bit more like holiday kind of vibes like i probably wouldn't wear that out around here so this is the second picture i sent to jed and he's just sending in his response now so i said with this one more of a casual vibe he said but rah i actually really like this one the two colors go so well together could be a summer evening pub type of outfit yeah that's what i was feeling too that kind of vibe so like a bit more casual but still like nice enough then he said is it one of your mum's old tops never seen it before see yeah i didn't think i'd worn this around here and then he said it's so nice yeah this cardigan is so nice it's more of like it's kind of got like a denim jacket kind of vibe to it honestly my mum's wardrobe comes through all the time. I think he likes this one. It's actually really nice. Oh my god, this outfit's beat in the first one. He's given it a nine. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he'd prefer the dress to that. He's just said, yeah, I really like it. Just because just because I can imagine that I probably wouldn't like the cardigan at first glance. But you matched it really well. Seeing it styled well, it looks sick. So this is actually taking the lead. So outfit number three, I've gone with... This zebra print headscarf, which was from Primark, I think it was like £2.50. My Topshop fluffy bag. And then I was, I'm in an arm between these Topshop blue cigarette trousers. They literally still have the label on because I haven't worn them. And then these ones from Monkey, which are like a wide leg um, striped trouser. But he's already seen me in these and he hasn't seen me wear these. So I've gone for these. Although I did do think I kind of preferred those trousers. But... He's seen them already and I know he loved them when I wore them in Barcelona. I'm keeping it casual and have gone for my Air Force. So yeah, that kind of ties in with that. And I don't know what it is, but I really like blue and zebra print together. So these are the pictures that I sent to Jed and he's just responding now. He said, I like this one too. Is that a new top? Could see this maybe being more of a date night outfit maybe in summer. Mm, I was going more like casual. I was going to say either a day out slash summer date night vibe. To be honest, yeah, this would be cute for like, I mean, even like an event like rooftop kind of thing with your friends and he said he even got the nails matching with that one too eight out of ten i'm actually scoring really high to be honest i didn't know if he would like this one um just because i think he would say like the blues don't go i thought he was funny like that but obviously he's not i love the way he's paid attention to my nails that i actually need doing attention to details on to the next one we go oh she's classy so for the fourth one i've gone with this dress that was my mum's from the late 80s this is such a gorgeous dress it's like asymmetrical it's can you see like velvet like dark blue 
the shape of the dress like you can just tell like it's such amazing quality i don't know where i would probably wear this it's very classy i'm gonna put it on with black heels i don't actually have like any navy heels i feel like this is probably gonna be his least favorite one i wouldn't necessarily wear this on like a night out but it's gorgeous so these are the photos that i sent to jada i sent him like a top a bit of the top so he can see that it's like asymmetrical and he's replied with the love struck out emoji more of a classy outfit definitely special occasion yeah definitely special occasion get you a girl that can do both yeah i really like it 8.5 out of 10 again i wasn't expecting it to be that high because like it's a really really nice dress i don't know why i keep thinking that he won't like every outfit like i thought he would like the purple one the best but then he scored this one 0.5 higher than the purple one for the last casual outfit this is what i've gone for so i've gone for these mum shorts from boohoo this is just a plain spaghetti, spaghetti strap top from primark and then this shirt i got absolutely ages ago from rocket i'm here for like shirts with weird designs on but i've just paired it with my new balance 608 just because i think like the colors go really well so i have a feeling he's gonna like it all but the shirt i've never actually worn this shirt um, I don't think I've actually worn it in years. Like he's seen it in my wardrobe before and I feel like he doesn't like it. These are the pictures I sent to him. I think together the outfit goes really nice, like really colour coordinated and stuff, but we'll see what he thinks of it. Oh, okay. He said, oh yeah, this is really nice. I wasn't expecting that. I really, really wasn't expecting that. I honestly, I still think he's going to say something about the shirt though. I like how the shirt kind of matches with the shoes. That's what I was going for. 8.5 is that higher than the first dress i think this shirt was like seven eight pounds maybe like it wasn't a lot at all like i remember it not being a lot but rocket prices have actually like skyrocketed recently i didn't even mean to do that i would give the purple dress higher than this personally obviously they're very different vibes maybe this maybe he's going to 8.5 just because it has more to it like i've matched it up and like stuff like that maybe that's how he's thinking of it on to the last and final outfit just had a late entry from jed because i messaged him higher than the purple dress about the last outfit and he decided to bring the last outfit down to an eight rather than 8.5 but that's fine i'll still take the eight this is the last final outfit this i love the color of this top i i took this to barcelona with me but i didn't wear it i think he's seen it but like he's not gonna remember it these are just like jeans he's definitely, definitely seen me wear like plenty of times before. But all my jeans he's seen me wear and I really wanted to wear these with a pair of jeans. And to be honest, I don't really have any other bottoms that he hasn't seen. This still has a tag on it. I love the kind of like um, corset detail and goes down like that at the front. These are just cargo jeans from Pretty Little Thing. Now, I was either going to dress this up or dress it down. I've gone with dressing it up just because the last one was casual. But I would probably wear it with Converse. But again, I'm just going for my good old trusty Primark black heels. These are the pictures that I sent him of this outfit. I personally think this is really, really sick. I love the contrast of like the baggy cargo jeans with like the heels and the kind of dressy top. He's literally read it and gone offline. Okay, he's back online now. Okay, this is really good. Oh yeah. It could be one of my faves acts. He said we'd like to see it with trainers maybe as well. I would also dress it down with like Black Air Force or the Converse I showed you. And he said hoping to see you in some of these outfits when we when we go out. I'm gonna add all these pictures that I've sent him to like my outfit bank so that when I when we can go out again and I need some outfit ideas. And he's giving it an eight point seven out of ten. Is that the is this the is this the highest? Nice. Skirt and a cardigan was the highest and this came close second. So Mr. Late has just come in again and said in fact this can get a nine. I mean, the last one can get a nine. Make your mind up, boy. But I said, what would you have given for a 10 out of 10? And he said, I don't know. I'm also, I'm always cautious of throwing 10s out. I can't believe I didn't get a 10 out of 10 for any of them. Like, that is just plain rude. So that's all the outfits that I got Jed to rate. What was your favourite outfit? And do you agree with the nines? Would you have given any a 10? If so, which one? Because... <laughs> I can't believe I did get a 10. Yeah, I actually had so, so, so much fun filming this video. And it's made me want to film more virtual videos now. Like, what else could I do? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on my bell notifications to be notified whenever I upload so you don't miss any more of my future uploads. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.